Hey, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, my, my nigga to put the scrunny back on, man. It's time, man. Oh, man, I had to, you know what I mean? I had to put him back on, man. You feel me? Man, what y'all yeah. niggas doing? Y'all rolled up already? I'm rolling up right now. Yeah, that's what I got to do right now. So, shit, we could, uh, we could start man. over this shit before we really jump into it, bro. Shit going wild, man. Obviously, we're going to talk about that shit that happened the other day. You feel me? Right. Righteously. Got to. Are you talking about your uh, You talking about the yeah. privilege on, on full display? Man. The biggest ever? Man. That part? That was the proof. Because I guarantee you, bro, you know, that was the crazy thing when people were breaking into the targets and all this other shit that didn't really matter. They were like terrorists, but it was, I'm talking about it was, it was conflict out the gate. Motherfuckers is beanbagging people with children with them and shit though, you feel me? I, I literally you. sat there and watched that man unhitch the gate, open the gate, walk him in. I seen him walk motherfuckers down. I, I mean, you know, it, ain't, it mean, ain't even an opinion at this point. It's a fact, the video speaks for itself. I mean, you know. So, so I guess that. that they were patriots then, but they're terrorists when they're telling people that we tired of getting shot down for nothing though, right? Mm. You know what I'm saying? At the that end shit's of the day, crazy. I'm like, shit, if, if you ran shit, wouldn't you be letting your people do what they want? Shit. <laughs> That's what they doing. I, 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 I'm not saying it's right, but shit, nigga, if I ran shit, I'm people be doing what they want. You know what it is? You know what it is, is now, they tired of hiding it and acting like they wanted it to be, you feel me? A somewhat, right. you feel me? They, they never wanted it to be an even playing field, but they was trying to come with the facade like they actually gave a fuck. Now, it's got to the point where everybody is, to be honest with you, in, in a way, I'll go as far as to say I'm glad it is like it is. So now you motherfuckers can stop hiding behind Halloween costumes and shit. You know, come out and say how you really feel so we can get to it and address it how it is. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like... subliminals. Head on shit like what y'all talking about, man. Right, 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 right. I mean, that's you know, my only problem with motherfuckers Because that's all that anyway, shit really like... been. is motherfuckers acting like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Hey, cuz, I look at it like this. If these niggas don't give a fuck about it, they don't even care about their own peers, nigga, that they sit with at these senates and capital. They don't give a fuck, man. The niggas is pure about bread, uh -huh. man. And they be having niggas sitting there arguing about Republicans and Democrats like that shit really means something, man. Mm. And them niggas, that's just like saying, oh, I'm a Raider fan and fuck the Chiefs. Well, guess what, nigga? At the end of the day, you still play for the NFL and the commissioner tell you what to do. Period. Well, that's, the you know thing, that's, that's the bottom line. You niggas it, play for the same team. The thing is, they got they got us simple folks thinking it's really about race, man. It's just really about class, bro. And I'm telling you, it's really when you when you're poor, man. Facts, man. And you ain't shit, bro. Like, yeah, I don't care if you white poor, Facts, bro. Black poor or yellow poor. Poor, poor. Rich people don't like you. Yeah. But like I you told, really like, nah, hey, but like, like I, 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 I ain't talking about just the other regular day, poor yo. people that got rich. I'm talking about the real wealthy, the elite. You feel me? Nigga, for sure. Yeah. And I told them, motherfucker, bro, if you went to the same public school as me, nigga, then you in the same boat, bro. Thank you. Thank you. You motherfuckers That's sitting it. in the same yeah, pit. Right. It's all kinds of motherfuckers, yeah, like yeah. whites, blacks, Asians, motherfucking Philippines, whatever. Whatever is in there that ain't rich, nigga, they sitting up in there. Cause when you rich, you don't go to them jails. They send you to club fed. Hell yeah. Nigga, man. you be with Martha Stewart and shit, making waffles and toast and having coffee and shit like that there, man. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So all that religion, and all that race is. shit, man, that shit is a division to keep it from the bigger picture, man. Mm -hmm. That's Hell it. Yeah. And we be biting for that shit though. Perfect example, I, I ain't even gonna say no names, man. I, I know two entities right now, bro. Both them motherfuckers is rich right now. Both got up. And niggas over right. here into it about petty ass differences that ain't really shit. Mm, niggas right. can really change the whole layout and open the game all kinds of like us, but y'all rather argue about who on the top of the mountain and having a dick tugging contest or did what for who, man. But all niggas is rich, bro. For real. Yeah. That's real shit. I mean, you know what I mean? I I mean, shit, just because you're rich don't mean you don't see eye to eye. You won't see eye to eye. But it's, I think it's just like. For sure. I think it's just like, I don't know, bro, with that shit. Like, I mean, you know, it's just, 
I mean, I don't see why you can't both coexist peacefully at the same time. You feel me? Like, it ain't, you know what I mean? Unless somebody is, unless one of y'all is greedy or somebody, you know what I mean? Like, two people can, we exist at the same time. You feel me? You fresh, For sure. I'm fresh, and, and no we're all fresh, you know what I mean? We're not mad at each other, you know what I mean? Like, why can't people, why can't your business Man. do that? Burger King and McDonald's, they ain't not mad. They compete. You don't see them, but... Uh, Bakery, I mean, they commercials might throw Damn. you know what I mean, but they both. That's, that's a commercial, yeah, yeah. They both get money, and that's my point. They both get money, so Thanks, they really bro. ain't tripping, you know what I mean. And that's including Jack in the Box and Taco Bell and everybody else who's still getting their bread. Like, man, I don't give a fuck. Hey, so he's so, 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 so now we gonna flip the script to, to, to check you. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. You notice who them niggas are? That's Jack in the Box, McDonald's, all that shit. They're not tripping, bro. And when people come from where we come from and get an opportunity to get there, bro. Niggas is trying to slice the niggas' head off before they even get there, right. bro. Mm. Niggas yeah. that could have been your friend, you could have literally slept on this nigga couch, bro, and you had a good year running next to you know it's fuck this man and this nigga shit and we really from this, all these weird ass dick tugging <laughs> shit gonna be getting it, man. And then they yeah, wonder why we're not the fucking ones that's, that's calling the shots, bro, because if we did, look how we would behave, boy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Look how y'all niggas be acting, bro. Supposed to set the blueprint, bro. Like, look, y'all, we can do this shit. Listen, bro. Look, look at the example they got to look at. Everybody is is that uses the government for an example. All crime entities, all everything Man. uses the government for an example, bro. That's our example. You feel me? Because if you was using any type of religious book. It wouldn't be telling you to act like this if you really was reading it. Yeah, you know I mean, for sure not. So you, your example is the government. You feel me? It's so much tyranny hey. in the fucking government that, that that's what we got in the nation. You know what I mean? Like sure. that's what it was built on. That's what but so, period. That's what I'm saying. It was a lick out the gate. It was built on that. Motherfuckers, shit. motherfuckers ran away oh, from yeah. Europe. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ran away, came out here, you feel me, was damn near dying off, ran into some indigenous people, bro. Nursed them back to health, blood, taught them how to live, bro. Fend for themselves. And then they had this shit called Thanksgiving where they had dinner and then knocked their ass off. That's what I'm trying to say. This is how the whole country is built on. So how could you expect the flower to grow any other way besides if the seeds you really do your, uh, If you really huh? do your motherfucking research, you see that they didn't even really have Thanksgiving. That was just something they told us. You feel me? You feel me? Like they didn't, they they never had no intentions on feeding them folks or doing nothing like that. That's just some shit they told us to look. You know what I mean? Like, now that we in this age of information and all this shit coming out, you know what I'm saying? And all this this history that was, that was, uh, 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 what you call it, that was tampered with, you know what I'm saying? It, it's coming out and they telling us, you know, you hear me? Shit, his story, boy, that's, it says it for itself. His, his story, you know? We all, <laughs> the the that's nigga that's all, telling it, that's how they... They corrupted that look like little shit like that, but I, I get it. That's part of his story. You know what I'm saying? That's how it go. But what we do know is that they did come. You feel me? Did you feel me? Hostily take the land. I mean, that's just, that's how it goes with every fucking dynasty. That's what they all did from the Ming dynasty to fucking the Romans, all that shit. That's how they did. And at the end of the day, they all just each other. How we doing? We, we was Man. raised on his story. You know what I'm saying? That's so how even, they failed. We don't, we don't even got no story of our own because we was raised on his story. You feel me? That's the only story that Real, we know. They shot our story you off the space. That story was... And that's the clue. Yeah. Like, we don't got no, we don't got no stories. Like, we got, our, we got our stories on Instagram. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, all our shit... We and that's the coldest about shit about us. 70 years later. Or they give about 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 us is, is is slavery and you know what I'm saying like some real like down and dirty type shit. They don't talk about that old school like you know the kings. They, uh, didn't know you lost. They don't even. Know. They, they just, you didn't know nigga you lost. Y'all was never on the winning team. We just yeah, want to show you all your losses. Mm -hmm. Well, in order to in order to keep <laughs> in order to keep people about oppressed, the fucking centuries you dominated. They have to tell you that they have. That's the that's the way to keep you oppressed. Because if you know that if you know that you got some action that be coming, you know what I'm saying. If you was a king or you came from kings or whatever you came from, if you know about that, you got some action. You can change your destiny. But when you don't know, 
It's hard to change your destiny, man. You know what I'm saying? They're giving us destiny. And when you don't we want think, to know that we shit, think our only, worse. We think our only destiny is to get rich, bro. That's our only destiny. Like, oh, yeah, you don't got to get rich. Like, that's all people aspire for. That's, like, a lot of people. I ain't going to say everybody. You feel me? Nothing else. Just sure. get rich. Like, I got rich. You know what I mean? Like, that's the... That's the that's what you winning. That's what you playing this game for to win is to, to get rich. And then what? Like well, like what the motherfuckers that's already that was born rich? What they playing for? You know what I'm saying? I ain't what you thinking about that? You know what I'm saying? Like the motherfuckers already you ain't got this stress yeah. of uh, having to hustle and get a job every day. Was just born in the straight wealth. You feel me? What they aspiring for? That's what nigga got to worry about. You know what I'm saying? They we aspiring to be where some people are was born at. Man, and that's our that's what we consider as success. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, man, like, y'all get a million, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas was born with billions, man. Nigga, what you feel me? Like, born with them. What the fuck is he inspired for? What else is going on out here? Really? Man? The way I, I see it, like we was talking about before, man, is we in the future, bro, and we just this just this just the beginning. You feel me? When the it's man, we about to fucking to get it. We, we about to see aliens, bro. We about to see androids take over. We both see some shit, bro. I'm telling you, we about to see. Hey, some that's shit, a, bro. that's that's why one of the funniest memes I've seen and shit this year was when motherfuckers was like, "Man, I can't." 2021, like that motherfucker was an imaginary force field. They was gonna let up. Nigga, <laughs> shit was just gonna change. <laughs> Think it's gonna get like niggas are crazy, one day. bro. The only thing that's going to change this shit is us. You know what I mean? Hey. Straight up. Only way we can change it is we, 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 I think, I feel like people push into too many narratives, man. We don't even know what we want. We don't even know what we want. Yeah. You feel me? You just, whatever, every day somebody come up with some new shit, that's what we want. Like, oh man, we, we want to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, 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 like, we slaves, bro. Are we mentally enslaved, bro? Even if you don't want to believe it or you don't think it, you are. With that nigga Sue Surf said they hanging us with designer. Bust down ropes, man. Right, bro. Motherfuckers is tripping. Niggas is like, but in a way, it's like, I'm going to have to keep it a thou while, bro. It's like, that shit is almost like a domino effect, you feel me? Because a lot of us, bro, we didn't catch on to this shit till later. So it wasn't like we could right. pass it on to the niggas that was younger than us right at the moment because we still was in that motherfucker. Like, like a lot of people really, like, like you said, a lot of people really don't know what we want or who we are going to be or who we aspire to be right. till motherfuckers right. get older. And then by the time we realize, like, fuck, bro, this was a scandalous, fucked up trick, nigga. Niggas done lost generations of time, whether it be the being in jail, you feel me, whatever it might be, you feel me? Like, 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 but man, niggas be feeling like it's too late sometimes, but that shit is crazy because it ain't never that, you feel me? Nigga flip right. the switch instantly, you feel me? So a lot of this shit these little niggas is seeing is the shit that they were seeing us doing and the shit we was seeing motherfuckers doing, you know, before us. But one of the keys, I mean, of the keys to success is live a long life, man. Mm hmm Hell yeah. But I tell you what, I don't ever know when it is gonna change up for you. Hey bro, I be seeing little shit like there's a lot of weird shit that be going on with the young generation, but I be seeing a lot of sharp ass stand-up steel motherfuckers too, blood. And they smarter though, like you know, they got more of the access. That's what it is, like you said earlier. This technology got us available to all type of knowledge. It's however you go about it, what you want to uncover and dig and get. But right. yeah, man, you feel me? I ain't gonna just totally be like, man, these little motherfuckers, cause I be having, if I see it though, like all this Republican Democrat shit, it's gonna be a third party and it's gonna be some young motherfuckers who really understand that come from that shit that we come from, you feel me? Mm -hmm. That's why I just want little niggas to know, man, we need more of y'all into these seats and this Capitol Hill shit and all this other shit than having you niggas with PFN numbers, man, that shit ain't gonna help at all. And y'all niggas got action. Now, these boys, it, it's, it's, but what do they, they don't know what they want. They don't want, like, you want to be, we, we've been oppressed so long. You want, you want to be a part of a system that has oppressed you. Like, what, what you, like, what you, what, what, what like, what do we want to do? Like, I'm not saying you change it. You, then you become a, yeah, no, you can change it, nigga, is you have to get into that motherfucker. You got to work your way into that shit. 
You feel me? So you start changing shit to where it's like, nigga, it ain't just all and what y'all do, because those two parties are puppets. There's something bigger than that. Don't show. You feel me? Like them niggas, we they that's just like I said religion and the race and the, the neighborhood shit. Everything is for division, bro. Because once you see that shit clear, it's gonna be too much. You feel me? It's millions of people and shit, bro. They don't even have enough National Guard and Army to do all the shit they doing all over the world to protect home. Mm. They just know that motherfuckers is so confused and clouded, they ain't gotta worry about that shit, bro. We That's why when that uh, shit happened in Minnesota, them niggas was like, huh? <laughs> you feel me, huh? This is what this is what it's supposed to be though. Sleeping. This, this, this is what it's supposed to be. You feel me? We under a Hegelian dialect, bro. You feel me? And for y'all that don't know what that is, just look it up. You feel me? It's 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 supposed to be division. That's what they that's the narrative they push it. Republican, Democrat, right, left, crisp blood, you feel me? Female, male, like you know what I mean? Like yeah. every you know what I mean? That's what they that's how you that's how people that uh that's in control, stay in control by creating division amongst the motherfuckers who don't yeah. know. You know what I mean? And we the don't know. I mean, we the don't know. You feel me? I always say this is what I always say, man. Like for this for simple fact, this shit that's going on. Let that have been any of us that inside inside of the riot, like they say Trump did. You feel me? If we had did it that shit, nigga, we going to jail. Is, is he going to jail? How the fuck sure. do you get to pardon yourself, yeah. nigga? Let with like you be pardoning himself? Like man, this shit is all. This is that's a slap in the face right. to anybody that's been through the system, anybody that's right, been bro. in jail, anybody that paid their debt to society, anybody <laughs> that had to go through that shit. But y'all to just say y'all to commit crime and say we pardoning ourselves. Bro, they let them yeah, in there. Bro, they let them in the door. Bro, they didn't even try yeah. to. Because they was all pulled. Yeah, they they walking down the steps holding the motherfucker's hand though. Like watch your step. All them people was pulled. taking pictures and shit, bro. That's oh the best shit is like man. And if niggas if that shit, peace, bro. Period. All them motherfuckers. Oh, it, you feel me? Like it's like niggas just don't get it, dog. And I don't think that when it gets to a, a point where it's like, damn, are we ever going to? Niggas will sit there and bro, watch. Rallo go I to jail, nigga, know. for hell of peace, right? And being on the internet and be like, damn, free that man and do the same exact fucking shit, bro. I'm like, that shit is do? crazy. I mean, like, nigga, that not, I'm talking about immediately. If anything, <laughs> niggas start doing it more. <laughs> I'm talking because about if anything, niggas start doing it more. This shit that we niggas on right now, written. bro, this is a drug. People like getting the. People like people like getting likes and shit. Like it, they like clout, bro. People always wanted to be famous, bro. That's the thing. They got people wanting to be famous. You all people always wanted to be famous. People always hey, wanted hey. to be popular. It's hella. It's hella. Nobody's that got a voice right now. That's real, man. That's it's hella fact. people you wouldn't have never heard without this shit that got a voice right now. That's you fact. feel me? So we, you know what I mean? This shit right here, this shit is detrimental to society, man, a little bit. This, this, all this internet shit, I mean, it's a gift and a curse. I'll put it that way, you feel me? For sure. This shit a gift and a fucking curse, man. This shit got, and, and then another thing I wanted to say, like, not, not that I'm trying to defend what they did, but what I'm saying is, people, when you have crowds like that, it's always gonna be some motherfuckers that's gonna just do better. This is gonna do shit. That's what they're gonna do. Yeah, Make no mistake. Sure. It, 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 now, the problem is that the police and all them motherfuckers was just way too lax. You feel me? For when they had colored motherfuckers up there, motherfuckers with color on them. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, they was out there in national They're ready to guard. seek dogs on motherfuckers. They're ready, they, all they're ready to kill you, boy. You feel me? They're ready Bitch, to get you, back so. now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you motherfuckers did it like. So. Uh, why they do that shit like it was the New Year's Eve countdown? Like five, yeah. four, three, two, one. Open the gate. It's open. It was like that shit crazy. Check this out, bro. That's how, this is what that's I was, how you make a statement. How about this, bro? Like a lot. I bet you a lot of these motherfuckers that the Trump Trump uh, rally. Statement for show sure, man. The same people that was up there <laughs> getting that other ass shit, bro. Like the same. They probably paid the same people to go fuck shit up out there. You know what I'm saying? To go to, 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 to 
You feel me? All you gotta do is put on Them niggas is just there to create action and chaos, bro. They be at all of that shit. The same people. Uh, uh, the, uh, them uh, niggas that uh, pop uh, and that, get that, busy. I heard a term before called political theater, man. It's just a show for us, bro. Man, man. Uh, you feel me? Like, man, they could have stopped. You know, that shit was just for a show. You know what I'm saying? It further pushes whichever agenda they, they going for right now. That's It further pushes that, man. That's all we, you know what I'm saying? That's what we got going on right now. You know, That's America 2020 episode one. You feel hey, me? The, <laughs> hey, the cold <laughs> shit, though, is 20, I wonder 20, what they did if, if Obama was in office then he would have told them niggas to hit Capitol Hill. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What you say? I can't hear y'all. What you say? Oh, I can I can hear y'all. Yeah, what you had said though? Did y'all hear me earlier? Yeah, yeah. We, we. Uh, I said I imagine what they'd have been doing to Obama if he had said that shit in office and incited a riot. First of all, they would have killed the motherfucker that ins got incited. You feel me? First of all, you would have got nipped. Listen. Growing up, you was always told what, man? Don't act that nigga have been in jail, bro. bro. You feel me? Look, bro, they would have killed them people though. Like extra killed them, hell of people. You feel me? Because they would have been black and Mexican and whatever else. You feel me? So you know what I mean? We know that though. It ain't no. It ain't. It, this ain't like it's new. Like these niggas, nigga, our granddaddies and great granddaddies nah. is fighting the hell same nah. battle, man. This shit is new. I don't know why niggas so surprised. Man, you see that? Like, but come on, bro. Like, you gonna just act like you just ain't been happening your whole life and your mom's life and her mom's life and her mom's life. You feel me? Like, this shit been happening. So, I'm yeah. not saying that it's right, but I'm saying niggas don't act surprised. It's real shit. No, no, act fucking surprised. <laughs> I guess the white folks surprised now. The white folks that's on other side. If pe uh, people live in fear, you know, one side scared of the other side, bro. The white side scared of. The, the the colored people taking over and taking all their rights and their guns and shit. You feel me? The other side is just trying to fight for their rights, bro. They ain't trying to get killed by the police. They, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to get treated equally. You feel me? So, you know, I read this shit yesterday, bro, that said uh, when the Civil War happened, like 90% of the people that was fighting for the Southerners didn't even have slaves, bro. They was just fighting because the, the higher ups convinced them yeah. if, if, they convinced them that if the slaves were free, it would fuck up everything for them. And that's the same. Right, 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 right. We give them, if we if, if they give us rights, then what's going to happen? They think that it's going to fuck shit up for them. Like, oh, you motherfuckers going to whoop, whoop. Like, that's the whole, it's the same, it's the same issue, bro. It's the same, and ain't nothing changed, bro, except the, the times. You feel me? That's it. Or if they had, or if they didn't have slaves, where you think they just was fighting because somebody from somewhere else was trying to tell them what the fuck to do? Yeah. You feel me? Like, at the end of the day, like, bro, y'all, we don't like, at the end, I'm like, man, how the fuck y'all gonna tell us what we gonna do? Like, who made you the authority over everybody? You feel me? Like, so how you just, you know, like, like, who gave you, like, man, I don't know if I want him to be the authority. You know what I mean? At this time. So, right now, we just have the rule. You know what I mean? Fear, bro. It's all a fear-based thing, bro. They're scared. They keep those people scared so that they, you know, they, they oppose everything that, that comes out of, like, you know, inner cities or you know places that have minorities you go to the cuts bro there's no minorities out there bro you go to the middle of the you know fucking once you drive out the bay an hour or two there ain't no minorities out there bro they all trump country you feel me so at the end of the day bro it's just people scared of other people but they don't know you know what i'm saying like if you sit down with somebody at the table you know whether they're a white person from wherever and a black person from wherever or whatever nationality bro you sit down and come to a common ground you realize that damn we all kind of similar ain't no different but if you never interact with somebody from that other you know, like you a white person living in fucking Montana, you never see a black person in your whole life, bro. You might think whatever, you don't know. You, you might, whatever they put yeah. with, you're gonna believe that shit. You know what I'm saying? They gonna, they gonna make you think, he gonna come fuck your bitch. He gonna, ooh, 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 like, you know what I mean? Then you're gonna be all scared inside your head. Like, you know, oh, these motherfuckers is a threat. They look at they look at people of color as a threat. When they know, they, no more of a- I, I don't think, I don't think no more. I think, I think they look at a certain type of people with color as a threat. You feel me? I, I don't. I don't really think they see all motherfuckers out of the threat, but that's something to rile motherfuckers up, and they know that. You feel me? Like that's just something to get. That's something to rile motherfuckers up on. This is it's half of motherfuckers that don't like gay people. You feel me? And 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 you can rile motherfuckers up on that whole cause. You know what I'm saying? If you want to, like once you understand that and, a motherfucker and, don't like a bunch just, of people, you can rile him up. Straight up, that's a drug deal. 
That's what Trump did. It, I don't even think Trump really racist. Hey, and, I and think he just look at it in he, a he realistic way. Uh, a he light that too, though. Face. It was all. Hey. Oh, it was all because they hated Obama. Because you look at it though, if if you from your own your if you on your black right. And you see them, it don't even got to be a different race, motherfucker. If you see somebody over there that you don't see a day, nigga, your antenna automatically for show is up. So that's true. Regardless, it could be a nigga that look like you. It could be a motherfucker that don't look like you. That's, who is this? You feel me? Like, unfamiliarity, bro. Period. You know what I'm saying? But I do get you, though. If you slide through somewhere like a fucking, a little, uh, you know, they used to have the little festivals in the summer for whatever type of shit, garlic festivals, whatever. The nigga be out in traffic right. in one of these little middle of the uh, of the state ass little places, bro. And they looking at you, they like, oh, he got tattoos, he think he tough. So I agree with you on that, you feel me? But I just think, right. period, the motherfucker being around you that you don't know is gonna have you off. Like, nigga, I, my shit'll probably go That's up more right. right now if I see nigga look like me than if I do a white boy walk by, you feel me? Straight up. I'll just Why? be like, he lost. You feel me? I see Why? another nigga, I'm like, okay, you feel me? That's what this nigga doing. That's a part of self hate. Why? That's self hate. Yeah, that's a part of it. That's part of the that's part of that that number they did on us. You feel yeah. me? Like, because I do it too. For I'm, sure. I'm just asking, I'm trying to see if you know why so I can find that, out why. That, that, that in the point me? that more it is really getting scorched right now, too, boy. Niggas been getting scorched, but motherfuckers are getting scorched, bro. Shit is random weird shit, but niggas be, I don't know what's going on right now, baby. Because I know niggas used to be tripping off of box and bread, you feel me? Now that shit just be random ass. You be in fucking at the mall or something, bro, and bump into a nigga you don't even know. This nigga, you right. That be that self-hatred shit, bro. Everybody, yeah. everybody need attention. Like everybody out there, I like I see like a lot of people. Well, not everybody, but like most people, a lot of people, the masses is like it's like we it's like they need attention. We all need attention or something. Like we didn't get enough attention as kids or something. Like you know what I'm saying? Like especially the people I see who be out here just you know what I'm saying, saying hell a bunch of bullshit, just doing hell and shit. Like you know what I'm saying? They need attention, man. They attention seeking because. I'm a private person. Like, I like to be real private. I ain't really like, you feel me? And I, and I see a lot of motherfuckers who just, like, I don't put myself out there. You see what I'm saying? Like, you really won't be, you really won't find out about me, you know what I'm saying? Unless you know me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't put myself in. A lot of motherfuckers be putting themselves out there to motherfuckers that don't even know them or don't care about them, bro, and just, like, telling you, like, giving motherfuckers ammo against you, bro. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, you giving a nigga ammo against you. You know what I'm saying? You give all right, they're not even a nigga, a person, just anybody. Are you giving that person ammo against you when you inviting this shit in? You putting it out there and then when somebody say something, you getting mad. You give feel me like, like don't put it out there. Don't yeah, don't don't put this shit out there with your don't put your chick out there with her ass out and you put your whole it life. And grabbing it and, and then you and then a nigga say, Ooh, she got a fat ass. Man, what you say? Yeah. My nigga, you put her ass on display. You feel me? Like, like, like that's what we doing. We yeah. putting the shit out there that we get mad about. We get mad because people that don't know us is commenting on the shit. Oh yeah, man. Oh man, what you move on? That's an ugly ass car. Oh fuck you, nigga. You're not the two. You bragging about it. So you know what I'm saying? Of course somebody gonna say something about it. Exactly. That's how people is. That's how life is. That's how it's you, 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 you go get your car washed. <laughs> It started raining. You feel me? That's that's how life is. You wash your car and it start raining that day. And you're like, damn. So life is. You came out bragging, man. Life about to show you, nigga. <laughs> <That's Chad. laughs> that that shit is so good. That should be bullshit, bro. Like when you be holding on to that one immaculate, like two grams of dope ass tree been waiting on you, feel me? You get by yourself and you blowing that bitch and ash it out the window and the whole shit go out though. Right. That just, Ooh, that shit that's have the a worst. nigga sick. That shit have a nigga oh, sick God. like what? <laughs> that's real, bro. Hey, that shit just happened. That's why that's fresh on me, man. That, that, that just happened to a nigga, man. I couldn't believe it, man. Yeah, let me, let me, let me tell you one that's even funnier. When you with a motherfucker and then they had you the blood. My shit wasn't even funny. It's the last blood. 
<laughs> it's funny now. It wasn't funny at the time, but it's funny now. <sighs> you feel me? Look, look, nigga, you get the blood. It's the last blood. Y'all got to treat you. We coming from fucking sack to the bay. Like, damn, I got one blunt. Then we get there. All right, light him up. We light him up. Give me the blunt. It's my turn to hit it. He got an ass on it. I roll the window down. Boop. Oh, blunt fly out. Bye bye. Killed everybody party. Yeah. That was a long ride to sack, huh? That's that's sack that cold. Back to the P. Bro, that was a long ride back to the P, huh? Cold ride. Man, that was a uh, silent ride. That That's solid. almost as bad as being on that last ride and having that last wood and that motherfucker look like he got shot with a BB gun. Ooh. Man, that should be terrible, bro. Man. That's just a terrible one. You like, ooh. I went to ask. Got you off. getting off at hot ass Hick Towns, nigga, gas stations, hoping they got wood. Oh, yeah, they for sure ain't got them. Hell no. Hey, man, I'm glad to. Uh, be back on here with my brother season two, huh? I mean, we out of it. Yeah. Cool, man. We already know. Yeah. yeah. Rocking with it. It was inevitable. Yeah. Season two, we back. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm tired of smoking weed, man. Yeah, nigga, I ain't getting, I ain't getting high no more. I don't know what it is, man. You know? <laughs> this weed getting kind of old, man. I gotta cut back for a little while. Come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Man. That's what it is. That's what it is. I gotta, I gotta cut off for a second, man. I ain't, this shit don't get me high, man. I'm trying to use that hit it for ten, hold it for twenty technique. Mm. That shit working like three times. Yeah. Oh don't yeah. That's no uh huh. <laughs> yeah, <that>. Feel me? <laughs> <laughs> that's because back in the day, that was who knew. When we was doing right. that shit, boy, that was when motherfuckers was smoking bomb. Niggas didn't even know what it was, you feel me? Um, yeah, you know what I'm bomb. saying? That boy got bomb. It was just bomb. Then that shit flipped over to that LG. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That nigga was blowing on that straw, and when that purple came, that shit, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a down. That shit put a nigga in the hospital the first day I smoked that shit. That shit beat my asthma ass. I was like, what the fuck? But guess what? Nigga, two days later, I was back blowing. I'm like, Phew. That's it. Who made the Who made the weed culture popular? Uh, the Chronic. Did the Chronic help it? Had to. I think the, I think the Chronic helped it hella much. Uh, I was I, I would the, say that was the era definitely for sure. Man, that was that era. Yeah. Facts, facts. You facts. know what I'm saying? Back in the, the days before our times in woods, back and all that, them niggas was getting hot, but it wasn't like mainstream. It was. Right. Little kids was getting suspended going to school and shit. Yeah. Going to jail for weed. <clears throat> yeah, it's a weed culture right now. That was like, the difference. Super, uh, the, if you was from SoCal, niggas was like, you smoking the chronic. If you was from up here, you smoking bomb. Period. Yeah. Yeah, bomb had me thinking of some way yeah. else. Shit. I used to <laughs> my share of Bammer back. I'm not going to lie. You feel me? I used to fuck with Bammer. Back. I take all the seeds and stems and shit. And nigga, the first thing I got high off of was Bammer. Fuck with Bammer. I'm from, you already know, we from out here, so, you know, this shit was flooded out here. You know what I mean? Some, some nigga, like, I was lucky. Some bullshit. The first, thing I got, first time I smoked was that eight dude. The first thing I got, <laughs> <laughs> that eight the, dude. The first thing I got high <laughs> on was Bammer, bro. Bammer, straight Bammer. Hey, in but a one, hey, but Sam Wynn had it, though. Them niggas had the sacks like this so you could get the bombs. Like, it was like, you feel me? So it depend on what kind of status motherfuckers was working with at the time. You feel me? That bomb. That shit be up and down. You feel me? To feel played by. Yeah. $10 on that little ass fucking butt. At, you know what I'm saying? I'll spend 10 on right. I'll get a, like a half zip. You feel me? I have a whole pack of blunts. You feel me? I'll be lit. Yeah. Hey, who would ever think this shit, bro, would go from going and buying 10 sacks, nigga, from a fence. You feel me? Nigga, the motherfuckers having dispensaries, nigga making hundreds of thousands of motherfucking week legally though, like just walk that shit. <laughs> Never thought it'd be like that. If you thought it would be like that, you'd have been ahead of the game. Man. Nigga, what the native you send you'd have been doing that shit. Oh uh, yeah. You'd have been ahead of Niggas the game. Niggas was like didn't know that. We caught on late. I caught on late. Like far as the light. And then I remember my 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 cousin used to come from the city like uh like shit, boy, we just came from the uh the cannabis club. We used to be like, nigga, you should come with all type of little uh, you know, ain't 
you, you, you know how you smell it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we used to be like, man, what is this? It's that sticky bear. We used to be like, what? Next thing we know, bro, the name thing is out off the hinges. Mm-hmm. Next thing we know, everything sweet got a weed to it now. That's real. Big facts. Can't find, can't find one candy that ain't got a weed to it. Man, every kind of candy, they remixed it. <clears throat> Man, they remixing the shit out. I wonder why is that, dude? Where we start when we start liking smoke sweet weed, candy and ice cream, huh? Like right, candy, ice cream, any cookies, I'm anything you like, this, like that. Man, I, I like the sweet taste. The sweet taste is cool, but I like that power though. That shit to be having a motherfucker sitting there dropping a the blend on his lap type shit. Like, nigga, I want right. that kind of weed. You feel me? That thrash for real. I don't want no fucking. Bootsy ass, nigga, this shit tastes hella good, but I had to smoke the whole eighth in 15 minutes, nigga, because that shit ain't doing nada. Now, pur- you know what I'm saying? Purple Punch. I ain't gonna lie. When, when Purple Punch first came, I liked it. Nigga, nah. I had a good bad of Purple Punch. Nah, nigga, you, know, you can't tell me. At least you find out he knew what he thought it was Purple Punch. Nigga, that shit was good. Y'all just saying that nigga probably didn't know what he had. He probably had him a nice right, little. Right, 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 right. Oh, right, right, but I'm gonna tell right. you, like, bro, let me tell you something, though. That shit was nigga, one time, right? A nigga gave me some weed. I was, it was hella long. I was out of town. You feel me? It was one of my ex's little, little family members. The nigga gave me a nug, right? Nice little nug. This shit looked like pure boof. Like, I'm talking about. Bootsy and shit, though. I'm like, man, it's all Bootsy shit, but they ain't had no weed. That's why a nigga gave it to me. So a nigga get to, you know, that's when niggas was thought we was being all, you feel me, had the scissors, yeah, we raking this shit down. Man, why I cut into that shit, bro? That shit was dark as fuck on the outside. Like, bammer looking like that type shit. Nigga, that shit was light lime green on the inside, though. Nigga, like, I can't even explain it, bro. Like. Like them bubble yums that be two different colors. Like you bite into that bitch and it's just like purple, ah, bro. I'm gonna tell you that was yeah. some of the best weed I ever smoked in my life, bro. That's why I'll right. never be judging how that shit look. I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna give it the nose if it ain't. It's the we don't see what it do. I, I think that's a Cali that thing, though. Nose is I think what that's a Cali like a Cali, a Cali motherfucker. Just like we don't judge weed by nose or looks. Like we gotta taste the shit. You feel me? Like now you can see if you see some oh. shit that's whack. You like man, that shit's a bad. Man. You feel me? Like oh, that shit bullshit. I ain't fucking with it. But it majority, that's how it look too, though, bro. On me. I, I think a majority, a majority of, of us from especially Northern Cali, you feel me? Like we we judge we different, and that's why you know what I'm saying. That's why you know what I'm saying we is who we is. You know what I'm saying because I be with some of my other brothers from other places and shit. Like with a few exceptions, you know what I'm saying. They how the way they judge weed and the way they perceive it is different from us. So. Certain shit that we be like, man, that shit bullshit. They like, nigga, this shit gas. You feel me? So uh, hey, I think I, that's why it's so many fucking weeds. I went to Miami. That and that and we be used. We used to that shit too, yeah, though. Yeah, so yeah, at one point in the time, when they finally getting it, we was like, oh, that was it too. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it just be like that though. But that Bro. shit is crazy though, motherfuckers. These it's people. niggas, man. It's niggas damn near in Michigan smoking nigga on the same shit we smoking on right now. Smoking better than some niggas right now right. out here. Right. But you go to right. bro, it'd be different. Like I went to Miami. And these that's a true bullshit. And they was talking about there's some fire, bro. I, it was like some old school bammer, bro. I opened up the bag and it was just dust. He's like shake, like just like. And I ain't even talking about shake. I'm talking about like, like the like trees. leaves. You know what I'm saying? Water leaves. Yeah, bro. I'm like. And he was selling like, bro, this is the, this is the dopest you're going to find out here, bro. Ooh, I ran out. I brought like a zip out to Miami. I ran out like in a day or two. So I'm out there trying to, on some dope thing, like shit. Like, what's up? Who got some weed? Who got some weed? And this dude's like, yeah, I got some fire. He sold me like, he probably sold me like a, like a zip, bro. It was, bro, it was so bad. You feel me? But I'm smoking it out there. I don't give a fuck putting it in the backwoods, smoking it. I had nothing, nothing else to smoke. But he was, he was telling me like, it was the dopest shit I was ever going to see in my life, bro. And. I, I, I smoked Bammer back in the day. That was shitting on that. You feel me? So this was like 10 years ago in, in Miami. So I know you go different places, bro. They got a whole different criteria of weed. They look at shit completely different. You feel me? They do. They do. They like different shit, and which is why it's, it's so fruitful in the, in, the, in the marijuana industry, in the marijuana game. It's, so my, it's the reason why so many people get tricked. 
And we are you think they're getting sick? And some people just got different tastes. It's like food almost. Yeah, that's real. It's like food. It's kind of like food and candy and shit. Like some people like certain shit, some people don't. It's also how it's prepared. You know, you know some people don't. Right. Do, you know what I'm saying? Like it could be some cookies right. or be some runs. Right. Some dickhead right. that didn't know how to treat it or didn't know how to. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how to cook the shit, Mike. You feel me? I mean, they ain't prepared the shit right. That, that boy Evan was yeah. a little off, man. You feel me? Mm -hmm. oven, man, he needed to double oven for that. Arrest you heard me. Yeah, man. That's what yeah. it is, man. So them, 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 them people at the Capitol, was they terrorists or was they protesters? Well, they was terrorists for sure. Right. <laughs> What's a terrorist by definition? What was they probably great? Storm the Capitol, bro. That's some shit that ain't never happened before. You feel me? Like, come on, bro. That's some and they let him in too, so that just shows you who who who's running this shit, bro. What they trying to do? They let they let him in, bro. They they walked him in there safely, escorted him out. Did nobody got shot? Nobody got beat up. You feel me? Like, but do do yeah. you think that was planned for them to let them in like that? Well, the cops, all them cops knew, bro. The people that was rushing that shit was all white cop dudes, bro. They was all cops, so they all in the same network. They let them know. Oh, oh okay. So that was police on their own. All right. They probably, bro, the, the whole Capitol fucking police was probably in on it, too. They tell them, like, bro, we coming on the 6th. You feel me? Like, we're going to be deep. We ain't trying to hurt nobody. We all brothers. Just let us in. So what about the what about the police dude they say got killed? I mean, somebody going to die. I mean, it ain't going to be a... It's, right. Collateral damage. Yeah, bro, but <laughs> at the end of the day, it's like even some... Hey, you feel me? A cloud chasing little mama that climbed through the window and got her shit plugged. You feel me? That's what she was she looking was a, for. She wanted she to be on a, that Air TV. Air Force veteran or something, too. Like, man, uh, Air that, Force, shit fishy. Yeah. that shit fishy, man. I'm telling you. That shit fishy. Like, eh. Police and military up there. That's why the police wasn't yeah. fucking, bro. They, 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 right. they to Iraq. I just got back from Africa. Oh, it's all good. Come on. Come on. We good. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, bro. That's what I'm saying. So, you, you know what I mean? You, if, you, if you ran shit, you would let your people be doing shit. Yeah, shit. Oh, bro, that was in the that was in the courtroom and shit, standing around with the puff cut. You seen, dude? Oh boy, that was standing. Hell up, man! I seen the meme. They had that boy with a uh, with a DoorDash back up. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> they like chairs, food for church. <laughs> that nigga stupid. Damn, the man, internet, internet, the internet is wild, bro. bro. Internet you fuck up on that, bro. It's a, it's a rap, bro. I don't see why you wouldn't want to be private with all, with just knowing that. You feel me? Just knowing that, just knowing how quick the internet uh, uh, judge you. You feel me? And, and, and put you on trial and execute your ass. You should want to be that private. Gavilo, you fast in a motherfucker, boy. Man, man, they judge you and executioner instantly. And detectives, they gonna figure out the case. How stupid do you gotta be when you know, like you said, bro, the internet's crazy. Everybody's filming. You walking in there just bare faced. You know what I'm saying? Like just like and talking about it, getting on camera, like, yeah, we ran into uh, Pelosi's office, we stole a bunch of shit. Like, bro, that was posting it on their pages. How dumb do you gotta be though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that just shows you the that's what he, that's what he, that's think what they, he did. Think they, no, I don't think they dumb, bro. I think they just have no they not scared of law, like like poor people and black folks is. You feel me? And Mexican and folks is and viral. Asian folks is. Yeah, like they not scared. They don't view law the same way we, we do. I was, look, I, 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 was riding with a white, I was riding with a white woman one time, bro. She's speeding like a motherfucker. I'm like, I'm like, look, slow down. Like, what? What the fuck's for? I'm like, man, the speed limit 40, you doing 80, residential street. I don't give a fuck. Well, I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, well, man, I'm, I'm smoking black. weed. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. Fuck yeah. Police. can't touch me. I said, oh, I she was something in over right now. He was riding, <laughs> you was riding with. They know the, they know the law is made for them. Do you feel me? Like it ain't made. It just say it's made for them. So you would have to change the whole entire law and the whole constitution in order to make this shit fair. You feel me? It's made for a certain type of people. I think the main thing will be policing, bro. Like, if you have, if you got, like, the police is the main thing, bro. If you got police from the neighborhood, like, if you're from Pittsburgh, right, and the police live out here, they're they community-based. Like, you know, like, like let's say Jason Kidd, right? You know, he's a dickhead and shit. But, like, let's say he was a cool motherfucker, right? Let's say he was, like, the community dude. 
Like that's what people, that's what the, that's what the police need, bro. They need like a community liaison instead of just like just cracking whips. You know what I mean? Like they need to be out there like taking care of, like they shouldn't even have bangers, bro. Like they should have like a, when some shit happens, bro, they call like the OG. Like there's, there's some dude, like, let's say, let's say like, let's say in 20 years, Dub, you, you older, you live out in the P and, and some shit goes off. They say, I'm gonna call Dub. He's, he's an elder type dude out here. He's somebody that they gonna listen to. You pull up. Oh, they do do that. They do that in a lot of places. But but they're not enough, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they get the police involved. These fools come. You know, they start shooting shit. Like like the the police should be involved in the community because, you know, when they come from Frisco or other places, they come out here. They don't give a fuck about people out here. You know what I'm saying? They you know they just trying to they trying to get the numbers up. But if they live out here, they got to be held accountable a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They got to like really like you know like take. Yeah, they know, that's true. You know, they know. Yeah. And they got family there. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, they got family there. They got to be held accountable. It can't be. But it got to be more like a community, you know, uh, yeah. outreach type program, you know, to where the police only come if it's like, if it's like some manny shit, like dude's got a gun, he's taking people hostage. And, you know, then you call like the motherfuckers with guns. But like, you know, shit, for the most part, bro, I don't even think the police should be riding around with things like that, bro. Like, you know what I mean? They should, you know, right. that, that escalates everything. Not- you feel me? We're the only country where they do that in like more, I think, for real. I mean, shit, it don't I mean, violent ass country, bro. You know, we the most that's 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 the problem with our country. We hella violent, bro. The whole culture. I'd rather my kids grow up in Canada or, right. or anywhere, bro. Like, honestly, I mean I love this country, but everything we're taught, bro, is 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 drugs, fucking violence, you know what I'm saying? Just sex. Like look. Right. I got three kids, bro. I got. I can't watch shit with them, bro, because everything's got some kind of sex, gay shit. You know what I mean? Like niggas getting murdered. You know, my kids play Call of Duty, just splatting fools' head. Thirteen years old, like you know what I mean? Headshot. Hey, Dad, I just got shots. It went through his head and telling me, I'm like, damn, bro, that's 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 dope. But goddamn, you over here desensitized like a motherfucker to this shit. You know what I mean? Like you don't realize that's real, bro. You don't know motherfuckers really get their heads splat like that, and it ain't funny. It ain't no game. It ain't no points. You know what I'm saying? Like. This shit is sick. You feel me? Right. That's real. I mean, like, I think we all then became like a kind of like de- desensitized to like violence. And, like, they, we see it so much. Like, every movie, all songs, video games, like, we just, we homegrown on violence. And then you wonder why people are violent. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's almost pushed into you being here. You know what I'm saying? Like, all we all love it. I don't even want to watch movies that ain't got no action in it. I'm just keeping all the way 100. You feel me? Like if the first thing I ask, I'm like, oh, you want to watch a movie? You got any action in it? Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm funny. I'm cool. You feel me? Like shit, I'm cool. Like at the end of the day, I think us as Americans or as just people, we feel like we gotta have some action. You know what I'm saying? So all this shit is action, bro. We like seeing this shit. Like we like this shit. Like the gladiators in Rome or something, man. Mm-hmm. Like we just we accustomed to blood, you feel me, and seeing people hurt and seeing until it's you. Then when it's you, when it directly affects you, then that's when you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? That's when you ain't not that I just like are we like just seeing people get hurt or anything, mm-hmm. but what I'm saying is we we got a we adrenaline junkies when it comes to action and shit like that. You, everybody wanna see a good fight. Entertain- we watch boxing, we watch yeah, it's entertainment, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna see that, you know what I'm saying? Until it's you. Yep. Tell you the one that got beat to a pole. Yeah. Tell it's your family that got killed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks, then that's when it become. That's when you want to clean it up. Yeah. You know that's when you like, man, we got to stop this by all means. <laughs> you know I think it's just like a. I think it's just like a. You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't know, bro. I don't. I don't. I don't know if it's an answer to none of this shit. I think it. I think it's supposed to be like. I'm not saying it's supposed to be just, just many and terrible and, and horrible, but. The people in power, bro, like, some of them is animals, bro, so they want to see this shit like this, you know what I'm saying? This is how they, this is what they, this is what they're accustomed to, this is what they want to see. It's their, they want to see you fuck that self up, you know, yeah. Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's shit, it's maybe some of our entertainment. Man, it's been like that for a time, boy. Man. It's, it, it, yeah. Like, look at, like, like, like us as black people, we, we we always like oh black people need to get it together and we need we gotta do this and we gotta do this but guess okay. what soon as we soon as we see somebody soon as we see two brothers or any two black people or anybody getting into it we right there with popcorn you feel me 
we right there egging it on. We right, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, it's what we thriving on around here, man. And then until it happened to you, you feel me? Until it's direct in your face. We ain't really, we turn a blind eye to it. We turn a blind to a lot of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We turn it, exactly. They didn't want to be a victim once it happened to you. Oh, man, nobody was, you know, who, who, who this was. I, I done been that. I done been him. You feel me? So, you know, I'm speaking from experience. I know how this shit is. You know what I'm saying? It, it's how we was raised, man. We don't, we don't know what the fuck is. We don't even know what our plan is out here. We don't know what our mission is in life for real. We just know what we've been told, what we've been taught to do. We just we 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 indoctrinated into a system, you know what I'm saying? It's bigger than us. So we us as people, we gotta start understanding that type of shit. The, you know what I'm saying? The 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 esoteric meaning behind this shit. You feel me? To them up that little small community that understand this shit. We just out of the, you know, we out the loop. A lot of us. Some of us know. I don't. I'm trying to find out, but some of us know a lot of different shit, you know what I'm saying? We got to start getting in the loop and really change anything or else we just going to be complaining about shit that's getting changed for us. Hmm. Until we get black folks and Mexican folks and we're in the law. I was looking at uh, motherfuckers was talking like, I forgot what his name was, but one of them white dudes and the title of his shit said lawmaker. That's a real title right there. Like a lawmaker? Like, nigga, this nigga is responsible for your life right here. Talking. That's real. This funny, dude, this yeah. funny dude right here in the suit. And what you glass, can and you can't do. Me? And what you can and can't do. That's power right there. We worried Man. about, you know what I'm saying, money. You know what I'm saying? That's power right there. Nigga, this nigga that shit said lawmaker. Something we all follow. Are we supposed to? You feel me? Whether we want to or not, we got to abide by them. Real shit. You know what I mean? We got to yeah, start, yeah. you know, we got to think different. We got to want, if we want police to be in the community, we got to make it okay for people in the community to be police. It's not okay to be a police where we come from. You feel me? Everybody want to be the robbers when we play cops and robbers. I ain't the police. You see what I'm saying? And then you mad because somebody from another community came and policed you. Well, it ain't cool to be police over here. So of course nobody from this community going to be a cop. <laughs> Why the fuck would you, why, how could you think that? You can't think that, sir. <laughs> we don't like snitches. We don't like police. Ain't that what we said in the hood? Mm -hmm. So how we going to, how you going to tell your son, all right, yeah, go be a police, son. Right. Guess what? You might still be doing bullshit and your son become a police. Now you got to be like, dad, are you wanting to be a crooked cop for the family? Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. that's what we, that's what we fighting against. <laughs> But you can still be a good cop, bro. Like for the most part, if you in the community doing your thing, like not all. I mean, not all cops are bad. You feel me? So there are no, 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 not at all. Yeah. Like if we get enough, like let's say my kid, your kid, you know, we get a nice group. Just like uh, criminals aren't bad. You feel me? Take right. over. Like if we get if we get a couple of our people in in the right positions, bro, and, and that you know we we raise them the right way, they are gonna take over and hopefully do some right do some changes. That's the only way she gonna change if, is if we get people in positions. You feel me? But I'm saying like. Uh, uh, just think of a. I'm not saying every hood in the fa every family in the hood in the hood is like this, but just say a family from a a a, a prominent family from a hood. A lot of y'all still involved in street shit or whatever. Then you got your one cousin who becomes a cop. You feel me? Is that not a conflict of interest? Like, do we want do we want him to be a cop in our community, knowing what we do or what's going on out here? They are what we tied to and who we know and he and we still want him to do his job legally. Like that's a conflict of interest. So that's that there is why the hood don't breed police officers. Or else they're gonna breed they it, you gotta change. I don't even think the police might accept you. I think the police do like some type of background check on who you know and who your friends was. I think they do type some type of little weird check like that. If I ain't mistaken. I I, I don't quote me, but I think they do some type of check to even make it harder for motherfuckers from hoods and who related to families like that to become police because of that 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 factor. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it can't be done, but I'm just saying like I that's kind of like a it's a it's a you know what I mean? Paradox. You feel me? It kind of like yeah. you can't have yeah. them. they keeping their little clubhouse. They keeping their clubhouse, nigga, invite only, exclusive. 
it's a secret society. It's like it's Seven. like it, it, it's just like being a gang member. You're part of a secret society. Do you want any police? Do you want to be a gang member and, and, and have a police? Your police cousin in this motherfucker like, hey man, what y'all doing over there? Well, no, nigga, we ain't doing nothing because you the cops. <laughs> you feel me? What y'all doing over there? Oh, I can't tell you. I mean, yeah, conflict of interest. Hey, your you cousin be on here tripping, bro. <laughs> Facts, bro. And yeah, that's what, what it is. That's what we go. That's what you're gonna have. That's what you're gonna have. A bunch of motherfuckers like, man, your cousin over here, your cousin. Or guess what? Your cousin's gonna be busting everybody else from the other side. They're like, man, that's their cousin. They telling me to do that shit. You feel me? Why well, it just a, that shit that's many. It's especially many from it's like uh what was that movie with uh the boy uh, Leonardo DiCaprio with, with Jack Nicholson when he they, you know they was raising the little FBI dude. Uh, oh, the Departed. Yeah, you feel me? The Departed. <laughs> hey, that boy Marky Mark was no joke in that movie, boy. On everything. Pulled up in the end. Mark- that was part of the movie. Was that was Marky 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 Dude's like, he came with the groceries, came home. He's like, all right, man, let's talk about this. And Marky Mark smacked. He don't want to got him at the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Your nigga popped up with You're the right. I forgot about that. You're <laughs> right. I forgot about that part. You're right. Lady said, yeah. Yeah, uh, Marky Mark was no joke in that movie, boy. You're right. I forgot. I might have to go back and watch that, man. It's a cold movie. I might have to go check it out. That was a dope movie right there. But that was the, you know what I'm saying? Like, do we want. Do, would our sons have to be like that? Like you know what I'm saying? I'm like you know I don't I don't I, I, I don't I don't do no criminal activity. You feel me? So, I, but I don't still know if I would want my kids to be police. You feel me? Not even because of that aspect, but just because I did this shit ain't safe. Mm-hmm. Oh, it ain't safe. Sure. From where I'm from, it ain't safe to be no police. Yeah, that's not safe. That's like, you got so much to deal with. I mean, the boys got a hell of shit to deal with to be a police. You got, I see why they be going crooked and doing shit. The boys got shit to deal with. We, I can't deal with these niggas. Can't deal with these niggas. And they got power. So, you know, you got shit to deal with. You going through shit and you blessed with all that power. You basically got people's lives in your hands. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you control motherfuckers' whole freedom. You know what I'm saying? Whether you want to be a dickhead or not. So, if you want to be a dick, you can send them to jail. If you want to be cool, you can say, go home. I'll give you a warning. So p- police got a lot of power, bro. And then, you know, you you already going through hella shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody hates you. I mean, shit. Who got more power? The police or the doctor? Or the doctors? Yeah. The doctors got more power, huh? The uh, doctor, boy. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, them doctors got power, bro. Give some bro. fucking shit that ain't it, nigga. Your ass done. Depends, though, bro, because if you <laughs> ain't got to go. Nigga, you done. Nigga, had put you. Put you on a whole different crash dummy diet, nigga. Have your ass out here dead doing everything you ain't supposed to, nigga. That's how I almost died from ketoacidosis. Was from a doctor you who was upset about not being able to be at the fucking gay pride parade, and I'm sitting there throwing a blood bitch office. You feel me? Wow. Send a nigga home and tell me you get some Pedialyte, nigga. I'm back. Six hours later, damn near dead. Had to get carried up in that motherfucker, nigga. That shit took me, nigga, like. 16 bags of insulin, nigga, plus another 16 bags mixed with water, nigga, just to get out the ICU, nigga, on that right. type of shit. And if they thinking I'm asleep, I'm listening to them. They're like, you know, this stupid ass doctor, he was just here. The doctor right. sent them home talking about Pedialyte and shit. Like, what kind of fucking idiot shit is like? And I'm like, man, I'm talking. So, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'll be thinking about shit, like, these I doctors think- are having a nigga I- fucked up. Other side of the be- you don't never go to the doctor if you in good shape. You ain't got to worry about right. the pain. This might be on you way hard. Like you might die in jail. You know what I'm saying? You were fully healthy. Oh guy, an old guy told me before, like an older guy. This when I was younger. He told me before. He said, "Man, I never been to the doctor. Yeah, I eat right. I'm in shape. I work out. You feel me? I don't got a reason to go there. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what? Nigga, you crazy? Like you ain't never been to the My doctor. Shit. But now until yeah. I started coming across my journey. Uh, eating right and keeping shit out of me and not getting sick and you know what I'm saying then I didn't understand that shit I was like I thought like because again we you know we, we brainwashed we indoctrinated you feel me we just all we know you know what I'm saying all we know is to grow up go to school get a job 
take care of your family, get it, have a white house with a picket fence. Do you feel me? At least that's what they say you're supposed to, you know what I'm saying? That's what all we're supposed to do. And so, you know, yeah. that's all we know, bro. We only doing what we was taught, what we know. Where we, you know what I'm saying? So whether we believe it or not, society is, it, is, it, 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 it got, it, society rules us. You feel me? They take this shit away right, they close Walmart down right now where everybody going to get their food at. Hmm. Mm. They close all these grocery stores down there. How are niggas gonna eat? You feel me? But just knowing shit like that, and like, like that's the type of shit people don't think about. You feel me? Until I, at least until this quarantine happened, I think people starting to think now. But like, if they took all this shit like, away oh, and close shit. all this shit down, it's like nigga here, it's gone. You feel me? This is what we It's over. Literally make that shit stop. Your life on pause. Chaos. The whole here. world though. Chaos out yeah. here, and that's why it's and that's why it's an elite class because of that. You feel me? It's chaos out here, nigga. Niggas don't like somebody know all about this shit and got the answers and know the questions, and you know that's the secret to life. In my think, you feel me? Real shit. Somebody at least, at least life out here where we at for sure. Hell yeah, somebody nigga. They for something. Sure. Or know something that's why i say but both those both those motherfucking political classes are, are puppets for somebody nigga it's somebody oh, pulling yeah. strings and making that shit happen you feel me nobody knows something. here you niggas going it's gonna look like it's y'all turn right now you feel me right yeah. everybody fighting and want to be what they yeah, like man. what do you want to what do you want to who do what if what, what we want i don't even know what i want man I don't even really know what I want. I don't even know why I'm mad. I don't know what I, I don't even know what I want. What we want? We just want fairness, right? Yeah. We just want to, we just want the law to be fair. That's, a, that's something good, you know what I'm saying? We just want the law to be fair for all people. And we don't have law, let it be fair for all men and creed and women, for everybody. You feel me? This shit should be fair for everybody if we all got to abide by it. All I say, it should be fair for everybody. I ain't mad at nobody. This shit, be, this shit should be fair for us all, man. I agree. How you doing? You good? I'll hit you in a minute, bro. Like, for sure. She's good. I'll hit you in a minute. All right. For sure. Thanks, bro. Hell yeah. On that note, I'm about to go get my daughter at the house, man. My fucking phone blowing up and shit, man. Man, you off the hook, man. Yeah, me too. Well, shit, let's get back on it when y'all ready for the next one. It's, it's all good. It's, well, I'm, whenever, let me know. I can yeah, take, a, me know. I can take a break. Shit, we can tap so in. So it's possible. We can tap in tomorrow. Yeah. We can tap in tomorrow. I'll probably be that way. I'll probably be with Bo. So, shit, we can do it at the same time. It's good. Let's do that. Just, uh, what, what y'all, 12 or 1 or something? Yeah. All right, shit, hit me tomorrow. We'll make it happen. It's good. We sign out on, on All right. one. You feel me? Sign good. out. Yes. All right, y'all. All right. Peace. Yo, shit, I'm going to tap in with y'all. Okay. Y'all right. be smooth. Yeah. You too, brother.